How is it going everybody? This is Enable Tech and today I'm going to talk about Shortcuts. Shortcuts is an app made by Apple that most people don't even know it exists. And people who know it exists just don't use it, don't know how to use it, don't know what it's for. The most impressive thing is that Shortcuts is an extremely powerful and useful app and it does pretty much one thing. As the name implies, it lets you create shortcuts that automatically perform a lot of actions and functions by just tapping a button or just saying one phrase. It is extremely smart and powerful. So without further ado, let me show you how you can use shortcuts. So let's go ahead and begin. As I said, Shortcuts is an app, okay? It is made by Apple, it is free, so don't worry about it. But since it is an app, you gotta make sure to download it. So go to the App Store, go to Search, and then type Shortcuts and download it, all right? Now that we have the app, let's go ahead and begin. As soon as you open Shortcuts, you just see these two tabs, Library, and gallery. I'm gonna explain uh, what both of these are, but first I wanna show you a shortcut in action, okay? I have these two shortcuts right here in my library. One is called See You Tomorrow and the other is called IMAP. And both of these shortcuts were created by me and I'm gonna show you how awesome this is. So the idea behind these two shortcuts are pretty simple. I activate See You Tomorrow right before I go to sleep and I activate IMAP right when I wake up because both these shortcuts will do a lot of actions related to this and I'm gonna explain. You can start any shortcut by tapping on it so I'm gonna tap on see you tomorrow and as you guys can see it performed a lot of actions. First it just reduced the volume to zero, second uh, it just uh, enabled low power mode and third it also put on uh, do not disturb and last but not least it also enabled my alarm as you guys can see right there at the top so the alarm uh, that's gonna go off the time I need to wake up. So as you guys can see, all of these actions are related to the fact that I'm going to sleep. There are four automatic actions and it just they all happen in just one second. Do not disturb because obviously I don't wanna get disturbed. Volume down so I don't wanna get all uh, any, any loud volumes if I open up Instagram for example or something like that. Uh, low power mode because it's gonna charge my iPhone faster and obviously my alarm. And as you guys can already imagine, IMAP does the exact opposite. So when I click IMAP, it just puts the volume halfway through because that's how uh, that's where I like. And it just disables uh, Do Not Disturb. And it also obviously disables low power mode because in the morning my iPhone is gonna have 100% of battery. And of course, it's also gonna disable my alarm. And any shortcut can also be activated by saying a command saying a phrase to Siri. So I've set these shortcuts to be enabled when I say see you tomorrow and I'm up to Siri. Let me show you. See you tomorrow. And then as you guys can see, it's saying run, see you tomorrow. So it's already running in the background. As I, as I just uh, exit, as you guys can see, it has just done everything. You just gotta exit Siri and it'll do everything. And the same thing for I'm up. I'm up. So it is running my shortcut. Same thing is going to be running in the background. And as soon as I leave, uh, it's going to have all the actions done. There, there you go. Now, these are the shortcuts I created, as I mentioned, but we have here at Gallery uh, many other different shortcuts, like dozens of shortcuts that Apple has created. So now I'm just gonna go through them very quickly and then I'm gonna show you how you can create uh, your own shortcut. I'm gonna create both these shortcuts uh, that I've just showed you so then you can create on your own because I think they are pretty awesome. So for me, when you're talking about shortcuts, I personally like the shortcuts that uh, go one step beyond, okay? So not the shortcuts that you can do normally on Siri, like what's the weather like or something like that. I like the shortcuts that can do multiple actions like, you want, like the one I showed you before, the one I've created. So a lot of these uh, shortcuts created by Apple, they pretty much just do one action, but some of them can do custom stuff that I like. For example, right here in the essentials, uh, if we scroll a little bit to the right, I, we have this calculate tip where it calculates a 12%, 15%, 18% and 20% tip in your total, okay, from the given amount. So you type an amount and it's gonna give you all of those percentages and that's something Siri can do because obviously as you guys can see, it is doing multiple operations. So this is a shortcut I like, so I'm gonna get it. 
So it's already added to my library. As you guys can see, it is right here below the ones I've just showed you. And there's another one I like. If I scroll down to morning routine uh, and scroll to the right, we have here top stories from Apple News. So again, I think it's, it's pretty interesting that it's not just opening Apple News, it is already opening Apple News on the top stories. So I think it's something that goes a little bit beyond what Siri does. So get shortcut, same story, goes to the library and it stays right there. Now, of course, the most important, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom shortcut by showing you how you can how I created both of these. So I'm going to delete okay, uh, both of these because otherwise it's gonna get du duplicated, duplicated and it's gonna be a mess. Okay, so I've just deleted my own and now let's go ahead and get started. Of course, first we gotta go to the plus button right here at the top uh, and then we're gonna need to, to put all the actions that we, that we want the shortcut to do. So since we're doing the see you tomorrow and the I'm up thing, uh, all we have to do is do not disturb. So, uh, do not disturb. And we're gonna leave it on, okay? So when I say the command is gonna turn on. After that, we're gonna go for the alarm, okay? Of course, the alarm, so toggle alarm. Uh, and then you can choose an alarm. So this, this is from my alarm library. So I'm gonna put the 8.15 a.m. and enable. So it's gonna enable that as well. After that, I'm gonna go for the low power mode, as I mentioned before, so it can charge faster. And last but not least, volume. So then I don't get uh, a high volume or anything like that. If I open uh, an application or something in the middle of the night or I just don't get scared, if you know what I mean, with uh, such a loud noise, okay? After that, all we gotta do is go ahead and go to the control right here, okay? So go to the control and this is like the option. Right here, we're gonna select the name. So for me, I like the name I had before. So see you tomorrow. So see you tomorrow and done. Here we can choose the icon. I personally like liked it the way it was. So kind of blue and then uh, select this little icon right here from the moon, all right? And then of course we have to manually select our Siri shortcut. So add to Siri. And then it's already gonna suggest you to say see you tomorrow because it's the name of the shortcut. So I'm gonna tap on the record button. See you tomorrow. And then it is recorded and every time I say it, it's gonna launch the shortcut. So now done, done, and done. And I have it. And now the opposite. And instead of doing it, and instead of doing it all over again, we can just duplicate very easily. So hit on edit, tap on it, and then duplicate. So now we can hit done again. And then let's tap on see you tomorrow on the three dots right here. Okay, so then we can open the options and then it's going to be the op the opposite so off do not disturb off the alarm off low power mode and i want the volume to be halfway through more or less okay and last but not least go to the options and change the name to i'm up and done so like the sun so yellow and sun done and of course, last but not least, create the Siri shortcut. So add your Siri, and it's gonna suggest I'm up. So I'm up. But of course, you can use any phrase you want. Okay, it doesn't need to be the same phrase that is as the name. It can be any phrase you want. And also, uh, you can also add it to your home screen. So if you add it to your home screen, you're gonna have it as an icon. So if you don't want to say it to Siri, but you don't want to go ahead and open the shortcuts app and all, and all of that, you can just open uh, a home screen. Okay, and then uh, it's gonna give you this tutorial on how you can just. Uh, add it as a button. So add to home screen and then you can just add it as a button. So then it's gonna kinda open through Safari and then activate your shortcut, but it works the same way. So let's go ahead and open shortcuts again, hit done, hit done again. And as you guys can see, I have both of these created by Apple, as you guys just saw and these two created by myself that you guys just created with me and they are working and they are awesome. So, so let me just quickly show you both of these at the top because I couldn't show you before. So let me tap and then uh, it's asking me for the value of the bill. So I can say, for example, 137. Okay. And it's going to create and it's going to ask me 
the percentage I want, so 12% for example. So the tip is 16.44 and the total amount is 153.44 as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and top stories, you can just tap and it's gonna open news, the news app and the top stories and I can just see the top stories very easily uh, like that, okay? So one final thing, if you have one of those uh, shortcuts from the gallery, so from Apple, you have to also manually create a Siri shortcut, okay? So you have to go to the three dots right here and then option and then add it to Siri and then say something like calculate a tip. So you gotta create the same way as we did before, okay? So that's very important. It's not gonna create the Siri shortcut on its own. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, after that, please click on my face right here on this bubble and then click on the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And then last but not least, click on this video right here because I'm sure you're gonna love it. So that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye bye.